You kind of look like him too with the whole hat. Oh, yes. <laughs> you ever had one of those days when you just need to find some zen? Get yourself out into nature and take a little walk. Join us today as we visit Fern Hill Wetlands. All right, today we decided to come to Fern Hill Wetlands and take a little hike. It's not really a hike, it's more of a walk. It's pretty flat. Um, yesterday was 88 degrees and sunny. Today it's 65 degrees and raining, and that's what you get in Oregon. All right, here on the trail, we just walked through this spot. There's two snakes. One is totally off the trail now, and the other one's headed after it. All right, our first stop here, a nice little pond out there, full of ducks. Another stop here, and more algae in the water. There's a duck out there, but... Not a lot of birds today. We're getting a little bit of rain here. That's probably the way it's going to be. It's fall, but we're going to go out and enjoy the afternoon. So we moved about 10 feet down from the last little segment here. And there's a blue heron out here in the water. And then right over there somewhere. Oh, I see a white one. Yeah, there's a white one right in the middle. Is that a heron too? Um, it's some kind of a bird. <laughs> wow. Uh, You're so knowledgeable then. I am. <laughs> so we're, we're getting to see a little bit of wildlife. That's pretty cool. This guy in front of us, he's just rock solid. He's not moving a bit. We'll move on and leave him alone. Nothing like a fall hike day. I know. <laughs> the trail here is actually uh, pretty level. Um, lots, lots of gravel down, so easy walking so far. It's several miles if you want to do it all. We won't be doing it all because we'll be soaked. It's really going to start coming down here pretty soon. We'll get in as good a walk as we can before we get soaked. They have several osprey platforms around here. Um, so far I haven't seen any that have a nest on them, but hopefully we'll get to see some. Greta likes her uh, wild clothing and likes to stay dry, so she's getting the umbrella out. She's scared. That is the tiniest little umbrella I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my, that's silly. <laughs> so now we're actually entering into the water garden, so maybe we'll get lucky and see a little more birds. I hear ducks. I don't know if you can see it there in the middle of the screen, but there's a pair of Canadian geese. Here in the water garden. I'm gonna come on over here. Got a nice little waterfall over there. Even though this is man-made, boy I wish I had this in my backyard. It would be so awesome. And right over here there's your ducks. Mallards, there's five of them. We got another pair right out there. I gotta say I'm a summer girl but I am really enjoying a walk through nature on this uh, rainy fall day. I do love the rain too but usually I like a summer rain. But uh, just being out in nature and seeing the wildlife and hearing nature sounds, 
totally soothing. I totally concur with everything she said. Just look at those gorgeous fall colors. I know it doesn't rival the East Coast, but Oregon sure is pretty no matter what time of year you're here. So this is Fern Hill Lake right here. And I'm hoping that we get to see the fish that are jumping out there. They were making some pretty good splashing earlier. Come in for a landing. Nothing else. You got to see a couple of ducks come in for a landing there. I wish I could do that. I know, right? <laughs> so we're kind of looking around here and uh, saw this big signpost. And I'm thinking, now what? It's tall. And look at that. There's a bat on it. Okay, a picture of a bat. So that's a little bat house there. That's a great idea because they probably get a lot of mosquitoes out here. What I want to know is where's Robin's house? I know. That's the Batman house. Look what we found out here in the wild. An elderberry tree with some ripe elderberries on it. So uh, if you don't know this for a fact, I will tell you that these things are super healthy for you. We have one in our backyard and I make a tincture out of it every year and it helps wards off things like cold and flu. And if you get the cold or flu and you take some of this like three times a day, it'll actually help it go away faster. There, there's your little knowledge tidbit for the day. They're also uh, native to Oregon and you find them at a little bit higher elevation than this. But there are two trees right here and just to prove that they're edible. I don't want that ugly. Eat the stem. Or the one with the bird. Oh yeah, that's the best. Eat the one with the bird do. <laughs> Ooh, I like those. You know, you're not supposed to actually eat raw elderberries. Mmm, they're good though. I didn't eat very many. Two. <laughs> good thing they have places like this for old people to sit and stretch and rest their weary bones. We must have gone all of an eighth of a mile already. As you walk along, you can stop and take in the sights. If you're enjoying walking around the wetlands with us, give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Never get tired of looking at the ducks. They're everywhere out there. Looks like there might be a submarine out there too. I'm not sure. I saw that from the other side of the lake. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. I still don't know. I have so many water spots on my glasses, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is on the screen here. <laughs> so we come across another uh, pole here. Not sure what these boxes are for. I wouldn't think they're butterflies and I don't see any bees. Of course, it is raining. So I'm not sure what those boxes are for. If you know, let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll get it figured out between now and the end of the walk. I don't know if you can see them over the tops of the trees there, but looks like a swarm of bees. That's an impressive flock of geese. Yeah, they're still coming. We got some red, white, and purple going on here. Look at those pretty little flowers. So here's some of our duck friends here. We'll be having a drink together later. As soon as I can figure out how to get out there. Ooh. I think that was, uh, come on over, Lynn. I'll buy yeah. you beer. Sure, that's what I heard. So 
So we've come across this little box here. It almost looks like some kind of feeding station for the very small birds. I'm not sure, but looks like there's little seeds in there. I have no idea. If you know what it is, let us know down in the comments. We're just trying to sneak up and catch one of those ducks. Got a nice one right there on the stump out there. So you've done an awesome job here. Love the little forested areas. This is pretty cool. Can't see any birds for the most part, but this is really cool. Especially for the people that don't get to get out in the woods very much. This is a good alternative. Yeah, this is really great. Okay, so this is one of the really cool things about Fern Hill Wetlands, is they're bringing wastewater in, they're cleaning it, and then they're putting it back out into the Fallton River. And this is the, the field where they do it so that they're, they're doing the same thing that a river does naturally, they're just speeding up the process. So this looks like where the uh, water exits the end ground filtration system. And the ducks don't seem to mind whatsoever. So a little known fact is that oxygen is also a water purifier. And this is the double treated water that come out of the end ground filtering system. That's what this is here. That incredibly beautiful view right there. Just listening to the water running, I could sit here for hours and just listen to that. It's so peaceful and soothing. Always keep your eyes open. There's a pair of Canadian geese right there in front of us. They're within 20 feet. The one is behind the tree. He'll be coming out here in a second. The other one's playing possum. I didn't know they could do that. Very cool though. Mmm. Did you get that crap on video? I sure did. The one that's eating there is not worried one bit. The other one's a little nervous, but he's hanging out. Pretty cool. Be this close to totally wild animals and they dose they just don't seem to care. Now, if you want to know what a wet dog looks like, here I am. Yeah. Shake. So if you like this video, check out this one. Or maybe this one. Like and subscribe. Till the next time. Cheers.